The Lean Startup Machine was an event that was held at Jersey Hub. Um, and it really is about the, the sort of new kind of thinking that's being applied to startup companies. Um, that's built around the idea that you don't really have time to build a product that nobody wants. Um, traditionally, with hardware developments, you'd find that you'd spend a lot of time developing something and then you'd go test it in the market. But the idea here is that you need to iterate quite quickly and um, go and test your idea for your software startup or whatever your startup idea is. Test it in the markets often and um, continually pivot and change the idea and keep testing it. And that way you actually build something that you're far more certain is, is likely to find a, a market and an audience. So the process started on Friday evening and uh, the initial thing was to give a 50 second elevator pitch um, of which there were 20 plus ideas that were pitched and then the top 10 were selected to go through for the rest of the weekend. So Saturday was uh, spent on developing the problem, finding out whether there, there is an actual problem and then um, also going out, as Warren mentioned earlier, into the wild and testing the problem with your intended target market. With the Bill Scanner team, uh, we kind of split up with a team of four. Uh, two of us uh, went through uh, the restaurants in uh, 44 Stanley, and then myself and Warren e-biked across the city to Bramfontein. Uh, to actually meet the people that we perceive to have this problem and also define whether they're the right target market that we're looking for. This was something that uh, we've been thinking about for quite a few months before this event um, and it came out of the frustration that we found whenever we went out to have a dinner with um, let's say a group of five, six or more, um, everyone was having a great time and then the bill arrives. And we were liable to actually split the bill by who paid for what, which just seemed to be what my friend group would do. And it always seemed like a very long process. And I would often say that the most advanced maths anyone has to do outside of high school is to split a bill at a table of six or more. So we figured you could quite easily solve this with a, some kind of application. And we did go in with an idea for a solution, but the idea behind the Lean Startup is that you, should, you shouldn't go in with a solution yet. You should first test if, if your problem is valid and who actually has that problem. So we went in with the idea that you could use a smartphone to take a photo of a bill and then it would digitize all of the items. And from there you could select what you had and it would do the maths for you. Once it's sort of done the maths, it can, uh, you can also add the tip and apportion what the, the tip should be. It also uh, it uses OCR, so there's no man, manual input, uh, which makes it quite user friendly. It also does a lot of the reconciling. So <clears throat> in terms of not coming up with the solution and finding out what the problem is, we actually ask people specifically, what what is your issue with splitting the bill? Is it the mathematics as mentioned earlier, or is it the accounting and the reconciling? Is it the time it takes? So, um, and ultimately we came up with about four problems. I've mentioned three so far that people had with uh, splitting the bill. So what we found, and I guess one of the intentions was to figure out, was to invalidate our assumptions. That was, I guess, the objective of the weekend. And one of the assumptions we had is that people would be willing to pay for this application. Of course, we discovered that the bulk of them weren't actually willing to pay for it. They said we'd use it and it'd be great, um, but we're not necessarily willing to pay for it. And the other bit of information we got is that it really had to be bulletproof. It had to work... 100% of the time. If, even if it failed 5% of the time, it would be useless. So we had those two challenges to, to deal with. And on the issue of monetizing the product, Tushu actually had the idea that on a bill there's a lot of data that's potentially useful to restaurants in the restaurant industry. You know, there's the, the time of year, the restaurants, exactly what people are ordering, what premium they're paying for things, how much they're tipping, etc, etc. Um, so we came to realize that the way to actually make this product work is to provide this data to restaurants, the restaurant industry, and potentially even at a macroeconomic level to the likes of banks. Um, so uh, yeah, that was the idea. And from there, we pivoted to, to essentially build the product as a means to get that data and have subsequently started thinking of other ways of getting that data, um, whether by way of bull scanning or connecting point of sale systems. The status right now is that uh, we've actually, one of the prize, part of the prizes was that we got a six month incubation with Edge Growth. 
and uh, they specifically have an enterprise uh, development division under one of their funds, an enterprise propeller. So for the next six months, we'll be working quite closely with them in terms of um, developing the Pearl Scanner um, app into a viable uh, business. Uh, so this includes like setting uh, very clear targets on who our target market is, um, of which we've identified three specific market segments, being restaurants, waiters who'd find it quite useful as well as the patrons at the restaurant. What we found is that um, our assumption was correct, that restaurants in South Africa really have almost no access to analytics or data about the industry. Um, the most they'll do is have a qualitative feel for you know what the what's going on in their restaurants and then there's some degree of maybe ranking the top selling dishes um, in a given week or month but it really doesn't go anywhere beyond that and they've definitely expressed an interest and actually introduced more new problems that they've had, including um, problems with disputes with customers who order a, a number of things and then forget that they had um, five drinks and not six, for instance. Um, so we found that that's actually another problem that we can potentially solve and in the process get information about it. It's also probably worth adding that um, we did get some funding from Standard Bank and a bank account from them, so that also helps us uh, set, up the, set up the business and... Uh, Gonna go and open that bank account a bit later.